but that's frustrating for all sorts of reasons. Kung Fu Panda 4 was hyped up by a lot of fans, but was also questioned by so many as well because it's a fourth film. Trilogies in media are very common. Men in Black, Back to the Future, Madagascar, Trolls, How to Train Your Dragon, and even the soon-to-be Spider-Verse films. But when films stretch past that third film, they either save the franchise or leave a horrible taste in people's mouths. I would have made a video sooner, but I hadn't actually seen the movie and hadn't heard great things, I'm afraid. In truth, I think the Kung Fu Panda 4 film was... Okay, mid, mediocre. What I liked most was the action scenes. I personally like the action in Kung Fu Panda 1, 2, and 3, but I do like this new style on it. Especially the paint strokes with some of the action. However, there's the topic of the video, the villains. In Kung Fu Panda's trilogy, we had three villains, and everyone cannot decide whether Lord Shen or Tai Long are the better villains. Well, Kai had a weak backstory, but made up for it with his action, power, and humor. But each villain had a connection with one's mentor or student. Tai Long and Shufu, Shen and Po, Kai and Uwe. With this film, marks the chameleon and Zen. However, the chameleon is similar to how Kai is. Makes up for it with her actions, powers, and her weak motivations. Because the chameleon was small. You heard that right. You know what? I love that for you. And you can tell the director, Mike Mitchell, really wasn't sure what to do. Tell us you've seen our son. Wait, why are they leaving? You said yes. Especially when he wanted to do a live action hybrid. Now the part about the chameleon being small can't be a thing because they literally have Mantis, an armless viper, a fucking chicken. Poe mentions a specific character. The Warhammer of Master Chipmunk? Oh no, she wasn't denied Kung Fu because she was a sorcerer or she can shapeshift into anyone she wants. Oh no no no, it's because she's small. On another note, I legitimately thought the chameleon was Poe's size the entire time before the film's release. And actually, what's stopping her from just shape-shifting her body to be a bigger version of herself. We don't know how long the opening to her character was when she was one of the criminal heads listening in. Because the chameleon is a villain I really liked based on her design, voice, and especially her powers. But it's brought down when she has a worse backstory than Kai who wanted all the power randomly. Does Spike carrying his wounded friend selflessly for days? She's just small. That's her excuse for being unsentimental and cold. But it gets worse down the pipeline because instead of having Tai Long being an active role in the film, maybe learning why Poe was chosen as the Dragon Warrior by having him to work together while possibly having Tigress there as well. Ugwe made a mistake choosing you as the Dragon Warrior. I just didn't realize how big a mistake it was until now. Focusing on how Tigress and Tai Long were raised differently by Shifu who were essentially their dad, Showing how he helps the public and they learn he was just someone who was led to believe he had a destiny that wasn't his. But instead, they show him fight for the first time since the first film, have his kung fu taken from him, then he's a spectator for the entire fight. Oh yeah, they mark a Tai Long and the villains coming back, just for him to have a few lines watching the fight and then respecting Po. I wish there was more, but no, that is the entire reason Tai Long was there, to do actually nothing in the film's runtime. What? Is that how I sound? I don't sound like that, do I? Give him a left, a right, uppercut. Which one are you rooting for? I'm not sure. This is all very confusing. Maybe Ugwe was right about you. You aren't completely useless after all. And it's disappointing. Mike never stretched his character out because it wouldn't have been right for Tai Long to be the Dragon Warrior. But Tigress would have been the perfect candidate because she had been working all her life. And she even provided advice to the Dragon Warrior multiple times. The hardcore can't understand. Tigress, no! The hardcore do understand. But I can't watch my friend be killed. Also, Tigress had an entire character development change since the first film, including she was no longer as cold-hearted as the first film, not as angry. She likes kids, she participates in the events that Poe and all that did, even encourages it. And still, they just remove her from the film. But Angelina Jolie would have been too expensive. So they instead went out to get rid of all of the Furious Five. 
but not giving them sound alikes? You cannot tell me there isn't a voice actor out there that doesn't sound like Tigress. They got a voice actor for Poe in the awesomeness TV show, what is it, 13 years ago? And for years, people thought it was Jack Black, but he had no affiliation to the show. Hear the legends of the Kung Fu Panda! Oh, but yeah, we have to have celebrity voice actors in everything. But if you think the whack to the head to the villains received was over, no, you clearly have no idea because both Kai and Shen were sidelined. Oh, don't worry, they're in the film, but they're not voiced by Gary Oldman or J.K. Simmons. Oh, sorry, they don't speak at all. The only reason they have to be there is to have their kung fu taken away by the chameleon, thrown in a cage, and then bow to Poe after the fight is done. Oh, but no, not instead of focusing on the villain for turning to attack Poe, they're locked in cages, getting no character development or screen time. That's right, it is I, Tai Lung. They're just used for the cool fight scene that Poe had to face against, and that's it. And it's disappointing because it could have been a turnaround for these characters. Obviously, none of them could be redeemed fully because Tai Lung wreaked havoc in the Valley of Peace. Shen tried exterminating an entire race. Kai tried to take the Chi of an entire race. They're not good people, and they never will be, but they could have gotten their final send-off. This is why co-director Stephanie Stein is praised with being the best candidate for the director, because her ideas are what every fan wanted. Because Tai Lung was going to reunite with Shifu and have bigger roles, but instead, we got the spectating Tai Lung. There were ideas such as making the villains the forefront of the story, and she wasn't the only one. Calvin Zhang and Sean Sexton, the head of story and character animation, wanted to bring back the Furious Five amongst many others like him. And she was most passionate about giving the chameleon any sort of backstory, and just so much more info in the Q&A that was passed along on Twitter. Unfortunately, Kung Fu Panda was treated like this because it had the makings to be just as good as the rest. Bringing back classics for the first time as early as 8 years ago to as far back as 16 years ago. But its director um, looked as if it had no passion for the IP and was looking to make his own Wattpad fanfiction of Kung Fu Panda. With humans, no backstory, it's just nothing exciting that happened before or during production of any source. And it's clear Poe's voice actor Jack Black was passionate about Poe, and that he knew Mike and Stephanie were talented in different ways. She even states how Black said that Mike was the comedy guy, and Stephanie was the one who brought in the deeper heart. And it, that's sad, because if Mike had worked as a team with Stephanie as a director, and a co-director should, and the rest of the team, they could have had a really good balance. Because Poe on his own is a really funny character, but he had stories that were serious as well. When the time called for things would get serious. But, no, he wanted to ruin the plot by having a live-action hybrid, then keeping the idea of humans, only to then have Poe trapped in a box for 20 minutes and just... Oh, so much more. If you want to watch the film, it's okay, it's not the best, and it's easily the worst of the four films. I'd recommend just re-watching the trilogy instead. They've got actual villains with backstories, growth, moments, and just so much more. Oh, and the Furious Five is there some of the time. Spirit out.